Hello fellow Guardians, Into the Light is here, along with the new game mode Onslaught. In this Defense Horde style game, you'll be fighting waves of enemies to farm for your favorite reprised weapon. For this mode, I wanted to think of a build that you could take into any LFG and make it to wave 50 on Legend difficulty. To do this, we're going to bring to you the lame locking Void Hunter. But first, while you're here, Hit that subscribe button, click that thumbs up like, ring the notification bell to stay notified, and leave a comment below. I do respond to all comments. I also live stream at least five days a week on all major platforms. The link are in the description below. I also play a lot of retro games, ROM hacks, and mods, plus a lot of Destiny 2. Come hang out on the platform where you're choosing. Hope to see you there. Today's build is going to be the Void Hunter. This build will have you locking down hordes of enemies in different areas with your Mobius Quiver Super. And thanks to the exotic that we're gonna be using, Orpheus Rig, you will be having your super up non-stop, all the while creating a mass amount of orbs to fuel your abilities, do extra damage, and help your teammates as well. Pairing that with certain abilities, aspects, and fragments, along with key armor mods, make this build absolutely nasty. Using this build, paired with the Graviton Lance, can wipe out tons of enemies in seconds, leaving only orbs in its weight. Orpheus Rig has an exotic perk Uncanny Arrows, which provides ability energy for each target tethered by Deadfall Anchors. Mobius Quiver also has an additional shot, which will allow us to fire a third volley of arrows, unlocking down up to three lanes at one time. At the same time, you get a return of 10% energy on your grenade melee class and class ability energy, plus up to 50% of your super energy back, allowing you to fire arrows more as for exotic weapon, we're going to be using the Graviton Lance, which thanks to its intrinsic trait, Black Hole, the second shot of a burst does high damage and recoil with no fall off. But it also gets an amazing intrinsic perk of Cosmology that states, kills with this weapon cause enemy targets to detonate and spawn void projectiles that will track targets. This alone wipe out a group of enemies with one well-placed kill. For this build, the artifact really doesn't matter there's really nothing that pertains to Void in it. The only thing that you'll need to do is bring some kind of champion stopping weapons. Your artifact will need to reflect that. Like for instance, I'm using anti-barrier mods for the sidearms because I'm using my Adept Buzzard to stop barrier champ. I use Markman's Dodge. I like the reloadability from dodging. Any jump you wanna use is fine and Snapmare is going to allow you to weaken your enemies. As for grenades, I prefer the Vortex Grenade because it has a bigger radius and brings enemies closer together, allowing cosmology to have a bigger effect. As for aspects, Vanishing Step is just preferred for me as a way to go invisible to get, either get out of a fight or to save someone, plus you get a second perk for dodge. I also like Silas Executioner, because it gives you another way to go invisible and also allows you to see where enemies are at, because we'll be constantly killing debuffed enemies. For our fragments, I use Echo of Persistence that allows our buffs like Devour to last longer, Echo of Harvest to get orbs of power and void breaches from killing weakened enemies, Echo of Starvation, granting us Devour from picking up an orb of power or void breaches, and Echo of Instability, granting us volatile rounds from kills with grenades, which will be constantly having our grenades up and constantly be getting kills with them. Because what you're gonna wanna shoot for is 100 resilience, 100 discipline, with about 40 to 50 mobility and a minimum of 30 recovery. But we will be using a font mod to boost our recovery a little bit more, but depending on your stats, you may or may not need to use it. And that leads in to our mod. And I'd always say what the mods are, your mods might be a little bit different depending on what general armor mod that you need to get your stats where you want them. So you can adjust these a little bit. These are just the main ones that I'm looking for, especially based on the mods that I need at the time. I'm gonna do ashes to assets so we get extra super energy on grenade kills. We do dynamo so we get extra super ability when we use your class abilities near targets, which we will be going invisible be diving around so we'll have another way to get more super energy and then lastly harmonic siphon so when you use our void weapon when you use our graviton lance we'll be able to get more orbs from final blows as for the gaunt mods I like to use bolter and destination so that way you get class ability energy when you cause damage with grenade we've already stated we're gonna do a lot of grenade damage then getting our class ability back go to dodge more reload go invisible and then also air power your grenade final blows create orbs of power we'll be using our grenades a lot it's another way to generate orbs of power but you already know orbs of power do many many things with this i always also use fastball um you don't necessarily have to use fastball especially if you can use a different kind of mod here you can always change that to something like you know momentum transfer or focusing strike 
for impact induction, or even like double up on bolstering detonation. But I definitely think you need firepower and bolstering detonation minimum. All right, once the chest mods, and almost always I put charged up on there, you need an extra armor charge. You can carry one more armor charge is so big, especially when we're gonna be using it for spawns and for weapon surges and stuff like that. And then as for your resistances, use whatever for whatever activity you're going against at that time. You know, I use harmonics so you can use less. This will be doing void, so any void energy will um, do less damage to you. Arc, anything that you're going in that activity is what you want to kind of base your resistances on. All right, and as for the leg armor, I'm going to go with innervation. So it reduces our grenade cooldown each time you pick one over power, which we saw before. Getting our grenades back quicker and having them out there getting kills and and. and hurting enemies is going to be a big deal so we want that i'm using elemental charge instead of stacks on stack because elemental charge will be creating a lot of void breaches so we have that ability to get more armor charge and honestly yes it's nice to get that stacks on stacks you pick up an orb you get an armor charge and so it's a little bit more efficient that way but doing it this way i was able to have more mods on my build so if you have enough, you don't have to use elemental charge, you can use stacks and stacks, but I definitely think you need to have at least one void weapon surge and innervation. The void weapon surge is gonna cause you to do more damage with your void weapon, which is we're gonna be using it a lot because those kabloomies from cosmology is gonna cause so much damage anyway, that if we're not using it, we're kind of hurting ourselves. And then lastly, for the cloak, we're gonna use powerful attraction. So when we do our class ability, we dodge around, we pick up orbs nearest, we'll get this you know, armor charge, it'll give us health, it'll give us damage, it'll, you know, all these different multiple things that orbs do. And then up next, we're gonna use bomber, reduces grenade cooldown when using your class ability. So another way to get a grenade back quicker, which is really cool. Plus with this, I'm using a font of restoration, which gives us a boost of 30 to our recovery. So therefore pushes us in the 50 recovery range. Now, if you have high enough recovery, you won't need to do this but I'm doing it because I need recovery on my character. So instead of fonts to restoration, you can definitely use Reaper. So they have using class ability, your next weapon final blow creates an orb of power. So you'll be able to get two orbs of power if you're using your Graviton Lance. You get one from the Reaper mod, you get one from killing with the void weapon. But like I said, definitely want to have powerful traction, definitely want to have bomber and anything else you put there, you'll be gravy. And that is it, everybody. That is the build. This Hunter build can almost guarantee you a level 50 legend run and onslaught. It allows you to lock down lanes, provide your teammates orbs, go invisible to save the day. I just love this build. It is ultimate team player build. If you are a Void Hunter, it'll help your team so much. And guys, I've been trying to make these videos a little bit more concise as I go along, where it leaves only the information that you need to know and eliminate a lot of the information you don't. I hope you are enjoying the shorter versions of these build videos that allow you to go out there and just start making your build and start dominating quicker. The dim link for this loadout is in the description. Leave a message in the comments. Tell me what you think of this build. If you tried it, what you would change, what builds you want to see next, hit that subscribe button, that thumbs up like, ring that notification bell, and check me out on all the live platforms below. I do hope to see you there. And until then, feel free to click on one of the videos you see on screen right now. Whether it be more fire builds or other content, it's your boy old man Sim out. Peace.